or the sleeve link somewhere. It's like it's like all white and then all red. <laughs> Maybe. I know what happens in a Sonic game. Sonic Adventure 2, probably. The Eggman blows up the moon. Damn it, you just... <laughs> There's a reason March is a mod. <laughs> Well, now he's also a subber, apparently. Thank you, Anonymous. Thank you for spending money, and I hope you make money. <laughs> I'm going for it. Your Wi-Fi keeps turning on and off? Rip you, man. Shout outs to Anonymous. That kind of blows. Keep getting disconnected from DFO. Oh, and you keep losing your stamina too and everything? That sucks. <laughs> I'll indeed. <laughs> They're trying to tell you, March, to not start grinding. <laughs> They're like, no, do something more productive with your day. <laughs> don't, don't play the MMO. Go out and touch grass or something. They can fuck off. <laughs> and Grease will do it to you. I can go for some burgers. I have an empanadas tonight. But man, I can go for a burger. Actually, I don't know an instance in my life where I'd ever turn down a burger. Let's go. Burger. So yesterday I went out to get to get a get get. A, I had a lunch with my my my, my family because it was my mom's birthday, right? And we went to this place that I hate going to. Or not a frozen burger? No, I'd still eat it. <laughs> and I, we went to this place that we hate. I hate going to because they never make the food right. But my mom likes it, so we went there. The last time we went there, I got a burger from them. And keep in mind, it's a seafood steak place, so they do they do seafood, they do steak. I got a burger from them, and it tasted like fish. I guess they cook fish and state and, and burgers on the same grill. And I was just like, ah. <laughs> I just it just tasted like fish every time I bit into it. It was like the worst ever. Fish burger. You know when you have like you never had like steak or like meat that has like a fishy taste? Like when you do like surf and turf, right? You know, the steak kinda has like a fishy taste to it. Like that's what the burger I hate that. And that's what the burger like tasted like, man. On France right now? Well let, yeah, let the whole country know. Can't say you have, but anyway, you like fish? That's fair. I don't really like fish that much, when it's like grilled fish or anything like that. Like, I'll eat sushi, but like, cooked fish is like a no. But anyway, so yes, so when we go there yesterday, I just I just wanted a grilled chicken sandwich. Because I, I wanted as basic as I could. Like a grilled chicken sandwich. It was like a big grilled buffalo chicken sandwich on like panini bread, right? And they like burned the fuck out of the chicken. <laughs> It was like charred black on edges. I was like, like, why do we keep coming here? Because they don't make the food right. And I got garlic bread with it. Because, you know, why wouldn't I have garlic bread? Garlic bread's delicious. And it's like dry garlic bread. It's like so dry. <laughs> Like, I bit into it, and you can feel, like, the bread is, like, 
a little stale and the whole thing is dry and I'm just like, I can't, they, they can't even do garlic bread, right? <laughs> So sad, man. And they have a sign out front of their place that, like, they've been, like, old. they're, like, the number one steakhouse in the area. I'm just like, by who? <laughs> not by me. <laughs> Tell you that. There must not be a steakhouse, like, 300, 300 miles a year. <laughs> this is the number one steakhouse. <laughs> By your mother. Believe it, man. Oh, I hate when chicken's all leathery. <laughs> Tiny 1950. Apparently the place has been around since, like, the 1960s, no joke. I'm just like, dude, how are you guys staying in business? You can't even, like, cook my food right. Like, I, I would never go there again. Like, normally when I go to a place, I get a burger, right? I, like, a burger is, like, the most basic bitch food item that, like, any place can make fine. And if they make a bad burger, I never want to go back there. Burger, lettuce, onion. That's all I want. Just like, just like, just cook the burger, lettuce, onion, and I eat it. And if it's if it's good, I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll go here again. If it's if it's bad, I'm like, I'm never touching this place again. <laughs> Why do you want to go back there? <laughs> Had a fish burger. <laughs> You ever go to, you, yeah, you gotta, like, whenever you go to, like, a new place, a new, a new restaurant you've never been to, right? Where the price is good? No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Well, if you actually want a fish patty burger, sure, but that's not what I want. That's not what I ordered. And that's if you're into fish, which I'm not really. That that chicken that chicken panini was like a like a moderately okay size panini, you know. It was like 19 bucks with fries. But I mean, I'm in I'm in New York, so everything's expensive. So I can't like compare prices to you. The garlic bread was nine dollars for a a a six inch. Nah, it was like an 8-inch loaf of garlic bread. But I'm in New York. It's different for me, guys. Like, that's just what you expect around here. Like, if you're going out to the restaurant to eat, you're expecting to, you, you know, you got, a, you got a family of four, you go out to a restaurant, you're expecting to spend like $200. Nine dogs are eight inches too high. <laughs> yes. Now, speaking of expensive inches, is it is it wild that like Subway has virtually rebranded itself that they don't do like the five dollar foot longs anymore? That they're trying to like put off that they're doing like gourmet sandwiches and they're like fifteen bucks. And they're adding like all these like we do a bunch of sides now to like make more money. Let's go. Now, you used to be able to get five dollar foot longs. You just had to like specifically get a a sandwich, like a very specific sandwich. 
You couldn't get like any foot long sandwich for five dollars. That's what that little asterisk was all the time. Or it would be like it would be like classic, like, you know, whenever you get commercials for like fast food deals and they got the little asterisk and says like pretty much that every store is its own franchise and decides if they do the deals or not on their own. And it's like, well, the <laughs> buy one, get one free, but only in like Alaska. <laughs> but they'll have the commercial on to like try and get you to come in and ask about the deal just that you're there. Rotates each month. I'm not. I'm not Subway. Other marketing team. <laughs> the long is meant for two people. Yes. <laughs> Classic onion. I'm part of Big Subway confirmed. I I mean I have eaten there, but I will not I will not uh I will not deny it. Or agree to it. I'll leave it up to your imagination. Let's go. Like if I worked for a footlong chain, I'd be getting footlongs every day. That's all I'm saying. Pretty good. The onion normally makes funny shit. But long. <laughs> Let's go. Hiya, yeah. Hiya. Been a while since I had a Subway sandwich. I, don't, Let's go. I, know, I never really... The, the chicken was always weird from them, man. I'm a chicken guy, so... Over, like, any other meat. The chicken's always was always weird to them. <laughs> the next stock meat, I'm gonna steal March's idea and offer it to them. You know, I was, I was brainstorming some ideas over the weekend. I thought I'd, uh, thought I'd, I'd throw them your way, guys. Yes. What is this? Ah. You own like a quarter of some. <laughs> Damn, man, is that the way you interpret it? <laughs> Crazy. Let's go. Subway membership card. Oh shit, man. That's funny. Can it be in the shape of a little sandwich? Customizable. Oh, I can decide what's on my sandwich. I can ha have it my way. <laughs> Dude, I was a member for a year. They gave me the pickle option. I can finally put pickles on my car. <laughs>
Yeah, it's like a 3D customizable sandwich, Sizzle. You, you, they, they magnetize new food items onto it. To denote your, uh, your, 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 uh, your length of membership. Who goes to Subway and just orders bread? That would be a funny thing if you can go in there and be like, yeah, can I just get, like, a, like, bread? Oh, uh, what? Can I, yeah, the garlic, herb, and spices break. Can you just wrap that up for me? Italian bread with eight onion slices. <laughs> Um, could you, could you throw some salt and pepper on it? Just season it up for me, thanks. There are people that probably go to Subway. Just to make the most outlandish sandwich possible and see if they'll do it. soup today. <laughs> what I miss? We're just talking about sandwiches. There was that, what was it? Was it McDonald's or Burger King that did the design your own sandwich and like the internet like made like the worst sandwiches possible? That was McDonald's. I remember one that was just like a McDonald's bun with a single slice of cheese and it was called the Sad European. <laughs> the best possible sandwiches. Wait, I'm like, I'm like thinking like, what did they expect? They were doing that. People to make actual sandwiches. No sane person. <laughs> Give to mankind. Oh, is that what we're called them? <laughs> Average Italian angry food guy. Tord, have you ever seen that one video of the person who uh is 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 acting like they're doing like like a food uh like a food hack and they're like putting pasta in a blender to like blend it up into like small little like powder and then reforming it back into pasta. Hello monkey man. Hell oh bun E. I got three diseases from that. <laughs> I saw it like yesterday again because it goes around every now and then. And there was just like, it was like an Italian family watching it and they were just like, literally like dying. <laughs> on one burger. Yeah, I don't really eat McDonald's anymore, but boy, I miss their hash browns, man. I don't know why. I loved, I loved getting their hash browns in the morning. Yes. I golded that? What the fuck? <laughs> nice retreat.
Carbonators. Let's go. What was that really popular thing? Like the McRib, right? I've gotten a McRib before, man. It was not, uh... It's not good. Oh, almost died. Their apple slices are bad? Are they use rotten apples? <laughs> I got it once and it was like it was like it's like it's like the rib meat the pork rib right on like the bun and like I opened the box and it's like it's like it was really funny because I must have got like a bad one where the worker like didn't give a shit Cause I like opened the bun and it looked like he like took the sauce and just like threw it into the into the box onto the onto the McRib. <laughs> just like slapped it into the box. <laughs> You're gonna make rock. <laughs> it was like the funniest thing ever. Don't miss this time. You know, people say the triple catch is satisfying. I think knocking that monkey off into the double neutral to catch him is more satisfying. Make sure yourself. It's it's kind of why I stopped like eat. Ow! It just jammed my finger. Ow! Now I stopped eating, like, fast food as much as I used to. Yes. It, like, started like, killing my stomach, man. There's only one place I still get tacos from, even though I know it's gonna hurt my stomach. They're just, their tacos are so good. I, like, can't stop myself. This burrito place near me. And, uh, I always get, like, a... Uh, what's it called? A quesadilla from them. Because they'll they'll put anything in the quesadilla you want. They won't just do cheese and meat. They'll be like, yo, you want rice in that quesadilla? You want peppers in that quesadilla? They'll put anything in there, man. Great. But whenever I eat it, it's like kills my stomach entirely. I think starting Spectre's Factory is more satisfying. I wonder why you say that. I heard them at Gangbang. Isn't that like one of those, like, what's up, Piano Man? Isn't that one of those, like, not on the menu, like, secret menu items or something? I've heard about it. I've never had one. No reason, I'm sure. <laughs> The McGangbang Myth sucks. Damn. No, I've never had one myself. I like, like I said, I try to avoid fast food now. <laughs> Ow. Seeker menu? I mean, it's... Just people combining foods in weird ways. It's nothing... It's not too crazy. Yes. We just call it the secret menu because it makes it sound like special, you know? <laughs> I hope it swapped levels. Okay. Thank God. 
<laughs> I didn't see the level move. I was worried. Oh, well, did I turn too tight? Like, you don't go into McDonald's and you're like, hey, can I get a McGangbang? That's a good way to get kicked out. <laughs> Alright, let's not mess this up again. It'd be fantastic. I know there was that, that thing, I don't know what it's called, but it was like the thing where you get like a Big Mac and you get like the Burger King bur I don't know what the Burger King is like burgers. A Whopper. And you like combine the two. Depends on the first mod of the desk, that's fair. Where you get like the whopper? No, the whopper. Yeah. How many levels are we gonna have? Four? I don't know if we saved time in the castle. Oh, we did. Nice. Yes. What is that? <laughs> is that bacon? Keep it sizzling. <laughs> Sam says, well, you got emotes? Crazy. Let's go. legs are killing me. Let's go! Alright, monkey, don't do it to me. Gotcha. Nice. Super crazy. What's up, Tom? See, the gooses are doing well this season. Gotcha. Hey buddy, thanks thanks for standing still. What a nice monkey. base plants I think they grow on yeah, I think they grow in trees like oranges like they gotta pick them before they go bad kind of deal what is this city park Jesus Christ no barrels in my way either dump the monkey A two second gold. How nice of City Park. Full of ivory wikis hanging off. 
What, they hang from the feet? The back? Are they like little keychains? Ah, you He is the I don't I can't imagine them hanging from the like their their snouts. Snouts. Their beaks. They gotta honk, right? Don't be there, robot. Nice. Back of the neck. What the? Works for me. Oh. What an interesting monkey. Alright, Chief. You can't win them all. <laughs> Would the vine be like white like the goose? Or would it be like a normal green vine? Just like growing out of the geese. That's the important part. White vines, yellow leaves. Leaves? Why not like little beats? That also honk. It'd be like the noisiest plant in It really would be an eldritch horror of a plant. Be that way. A goose foot shape. An adorable sounding bush. Key location to come on. Good monkey location. <laughs> We're all trying to snap at you. I mean, it's a goose. Why wouldn't it? Right? Makes sense to me. 
that. Such an angry plant. Do you name a plant that's like act actually angry? Like what emotion, what plant shows an angry emotion to it? Venus flytrap? Maybe? I mean, they're aggressive. Had best RNG. <laughs> Almost. He's getting a little excited there. Sandbox tree. More tree in the Spurge family. Native though most of Tropic America. The sandbox tree is among The largest tree of Tropic America is interesting for its pumpkin-shaped seed capsules that explode with loud reports scattering seeds. Oh that's that's the exploding tree thing, right? I've heard about that before. Right. That thing's angry? Do you think it's like an angry explosion? Or do you think it's like a necessary explosion? I don't know, Shroomish isn't, well, I guess Shroomish is a Pokemon, but Shroomish is a mushroom, right? You can see Shroomish angry? He's just a little guy. Now, if you told me Breloom was angry, I'd watch the fuck out. Man's got fist. Welcome to my circus. Just a little guy. Shouts to Uriah. True master, the true lord of little guys. Decompose your corpse. Now, when you say it like that, it sounds a little aggressive. Mushrooms are aggressive. <laughs> I've never heard someone say mushrooms are aggressive. Like the little, little moral mushrooms. Would you call them aggressive? People, people who hunt like mushrooms aren't out there just like man. Aren't like terrified for their life over the mushrooms. Have you seen those people that like actively like they spend their time actually like gathering mushrooms as like their their like their like job? It's fascinating to me.
Oh, I have seen a bunch of infected mushroom stuff. Six gates. Exactly six. Don't tell me they aren't aggressive. Jell, are you did you collect mushrooms at some point? That's kinda cool. One, two, three, a four, five, six. What a post sizzle. What am I supposed to do with that? I'm not clicking that in the middle of us. Third. Ah, uh, you specked into forging when you when you were born. That makes sense. I can't believe we got good monkeys. That's good monkey RNG. Come on. arms to use it. Can you not, like, just slop things with, like, your sludge? <laughs> then I worded that different. <laughs> Historically mess up Jake fight on good runs. Thank God. That's why I didn't say anything. I'm like, let me just do it. <laughs> Hi Worried for a second there. It took, it took, took like an extra second to load that cutscene. Banging the cars away. It is cute. Good sound effect. Alright. Now for the hardest part of the game for me. That's yeah, fine. Play that music, monkey man. Do 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 do. Can you play Monkers again? Can I come in? Not the best UFO, but I'll take it. Alright guys, what's everyone's predictions on Spectre? You know who only gets good Spectres? Sarge. That's right, only him. So let's jump Sarge. Throw him in there. An eight? Oh, I'd love an eight. <laughs> I've never gotten into Spectre this fast in my life. One. Two. Three. Four. Alright. 
Sarge cheats. Damn. All right. This is the first time I've ever fought Spectre 2 before world record happens. I want you to know that. Even if we don't. <laughs> All right, Spectre. One. Two. Three. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he almost got me. We got a six. We got a fucking six. He had to throw one more attack in just to rub it in my face. Holy shit, that's a fucking PB, guys. <laughs> what the fuck? That's a big fucking PB. I don't think it's... I don't know if it's a 45, though. Coming up. We'll see. Oh, it's getting real close. That's ah, not a 45. Yeah. 46 flat! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes! What the fuck? <laughs> That. Oh, my hands are shaking! Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! My hands are actually like shaking. <laughs> That's the funny part. I, just under once I got the Golden City Park, you know when you get that like feeling in your chest? You know when you, <laughs> you know when you get that like feeling in your chest? I I had that the whole time, and I wanna. Just, Gel, thank you for talking about random dumb plants. <laughs> thank you, thank you for talking about plants. That's great. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you got it? See, Gel knew. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you, Piano Man, Gustava, Pal, Bean. Bean again. Thank you, guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't. I can't calm my hands down. <laughs> oh. That's a 43 second PB. Wow. You know, we had it in ourselves, like, for the longest time. Like, look at that. So, Frosty Retreat. Like, let's look at Frosty Retreat. Frosty Retreat, I was, like, plus 32 seconds on my old PB, and we fucking golded it. Like, what the hell? Tommy got shaky hands. Yo, thank you, Sushi. I do have... My hands are actually shaking. I was trying to hold it in the whole time. I don't know. I don't know. You probably saw me fumble one of the Spectre attacks. I was legit, like, shaking. <laughs> I was just trying to... I was like, damn hands. Stay steady. Yo, we're seventh now? Wait, did we finally... Did we finally beat... This is important. This is important for me. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, we finally beat Finchy! Let's go! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love you, Finchy. <laughs> For a while, me and Finchy were trading... No, don't say fuck Finchy, I love Finchy. We were trading PBs, me and Finchy. Until we both got into, like, the top ten. And then it was, like, my turn to fire back. <laughs> I'm glad I finally did.